out of the 185 test results received, we have 25 of those quarantined tested positive. If we add on to the earlier number of 27, it means we have 52 tested positive in our country at the moment. Those in quarantine, we have actually deployed psychologists to have chats with them. We are also in the process of handing them over to our case management teams we have set up. And they have started taking them to isolated centers for case management, meaning treatment. Definitely, not all of them will be critically ill, and they are not. Some might not be ill at all, but decisions on them will be on individual and individual case management issue. If you are not even found to be ill, you still have to be stay in quarantine for the mandatory 14 days. Earlier on, we were getting indications like if you test negative, we may release you after four days. But on advice, technical advice, and we've met all the doctors, we cannot do that. So we'll have to keep you for the entire um, two weeks, which is the 14 days. We have adequate room in Accra, various centers to actually take care of all those that have been um, tested positive at the moment. By going forward, we have a team that is going around, identifying places that we can set aside for isolation for case management, not only in Accra. What we have identified so far is that we may have, we can describe two areas in Ghana now as our own epicenters, Accra and Tema together, and Kumasi. We are doing what we describe as contact tracing. In Accra, we have deployed 98 field officers, epidemiologists, and community health officers that have been trained to be doing the tracing. And it looks like we are actually succeeding in getting to people. In Kumasi, we have deployed about 50 trained people who are also doing contact tracing. The advice I will give now by this evidence is the fact that wherever we are, all those of our brothers and sisters who have come in, we should advise them to put themselves in self-quarantine if we haven't tried them yet. And they should also be talking to the health authorities in the area where they live to send teams to observe them. They can be calling on telephone and be describing their conditions to the health officers they get in touch with, saying that we can protect the rest of the population against community spread, that is the horizontal spread we are seeing in our country at the moment. Mr. Minister for Information, I think this is what I can say for now and we'll go quickly to go continue tracing those that we need to trace and do the talk that we have to talk to those in quarantine and make sure that case management team are working very quickly to ensure that people don't fall severely ill before we get them to centers that we have dedicated for treatment. Thank you very much.